How are you feeling, my child? What you are about to do is difficult. Don't make it harder than it has to be, Petrus. Fighting against your cousin isn't pleasant, but it's the only logical thing to do. A nicer way of saying she has no choice. Indeed. I must stop Constantine, regardless of what it may cost me. Not only to obtain an antidote to the Malachor, but also to save this island. I have learned many things by your side, and thanks to you, I was able to give my mother back to the Earth. I won't forget this. And this is my land, my people. I will be by your side. You will not go through this ordeal alone. What's happened to Constantine is regrettable. But you're doing what must be done. You're a good person, Greenblood. Then you can count on your old master of arms to protect you. We will all be with you. After all, this concerns all of us, doesn't it? Naturally. We will be by your side to support you both physically and spiritually. Thank you. You have been precious allies. And you are proving once more the value of your friendship. Now, let's go. It'll be a shame if we arrive too late. The entrance to the Sanctuary has been forced. A fight took place here. Constantine managed to get through. Let's hurry. Desade, glad to see you. Sadly, we couldn't stop your cousin. He suddenly stormed our position, along with a horde of enraged creatures. We didn't stand a chance. And now there are beasts attacking us relentlessly. My men are doing all they can to stop them. We thought it best to stay here to keep the path open for you, should you want to face your cousin. Thank you. You did well. I'll do everything in my power to catch him and stop him from carrying out his plan. Keep holding on as long as you can. I need to be able to reach him. Wait, there's a group of creatures coming. Maybe in life you protect me in this battle. Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! I'll 
stay here with them, Greenblood. He's right. We must help them stop these creatures. Are you sure? Every minute gained is a minute that allows you to save us. Glad to have you with us, Kurt. Just like the good old days. And thank you too, Afra. It is an honor. Enough with the talking, Greenblood. Go. And stop, Constantine. I'd hate to be doing this for nothing. In that case, thank you. And good luck to both of you. There you are. I was starting to think that we would die here for nothing. Your cousin just passed through here with a horde of beasts, and he keeps sending us more. We won't hold very long. We're not used to fine creatures like these. We are, and we will hold long enough for you to reach the heart, even if we must die in the process. But you must chase him. You must prevent him from performing the ritual at all costs. If Enon Milfrichtemann dies, we're all doomed. I'm well aware of that, believe me. But here come some more beasts. To arms! Stay with my people. And I'll stay with her. One blade more can't hurt. We need to prevent the beasts from following your tracks. Yeah, we could use some help here, to be honest. I wouldn't have put it that way, but the Moridigan isn't wrong. You see? Over and done. You should go now. And may the volcano give you its strength. Well, good luck. Oh, and Siora. Kayato.
Is this the last time I'll see your face? I don't know. Go. There you are. Praise the Enlightened. Your cousin has already reached the heart. Our other allies informed me. They are also trying to stop the creatures. What do you intend to do? Pursue him all the way there and do everything I can to stop him. In that case, may the Enlightened keep you in his divine... Oh no. More beasts are coming! Be prepared! The enlightened protect me in this battle!
it's my turn. I'm staying with my people. I knew you'd say that. Well, I wasn't going to let the young ones get all the glory. Your help would be a blessing, father. You see? You should go now, my child. Be careful. We are all praying for your success. Thank you, Petrus. Be careful, too. Constantine!
die your death. I'm sorry. Why? Why have you done this? But for you. For us. So that we may live free at last. <sighs> this makes no sense. Constantine, it's madness. You don't understand because you're still attached to the old world. This old, dying world which, to survive, has betrayed, used, and manipulated us and would not have hesitated to kill us. Perhaps, but... I've seen death, cousin. And I understood the vanity of it all. My father's ruses, just so he could earn more power. The political bowing and scraping to preserve corrupted nations. I have been offered unrivaled power, allowing me to get rid of this. To send the old world back to its inevitable death and to build something new here. Something unique. And this new world is my gift to you. You and I could be its new gods, the immortal and benevolent monarchs. He himself is the incarnation of the old world he is speaking of. He has its vices and its poison. For his own immortality, he's prepared to destroy everything around him, to break millennia of cycles. I implore you, flesh of my land, think of all the lives that will come to an end to feed his pride. Don't listen to this old god. He's like all the others, after all, clinging to life. All you have to do is to bind yourself here, with me. And we will be gods together, forever. After the fall of Constantine, my young student managed to establish stronger links between the old nations and the natives. Some of their Donegada were even invited to the continent, and with their help, it slowly became a land filled with life again. And for the first time in a long while, the number of cases of the Malachor is decreasing. Those who bravely fought at Dorhad Genadu were celebrated everywhere. After all, if it weren't for this unlikely alliance, the island would have fallen into Constantine's greedy hands. This victory allowed Siora to become the Marl of her village, but she often leaves to be reunited with the one she believes to be her soulmate. Sieglinda took Kurt as an advisor but he insisted on keeping his place alongside his former student and friend, watching her back as he always had. Afra set aside her weapons and went back to her research on the native culture and flora of the island. It is said that she is even writing a book with the help of Dunkas's clan when not visiting her friends. For his bravery, Vasco was awarded the rank of commander he now travels the sea at the head of a whole fleet, but he often comes back to visit his sister-in-arms.
Petrus's ambitions have finally been fulfilled. He obtained the much coveted title of Cardinal. Despite the responsibilities implied by such a title, he still sometimes visits the one he calls his child. Despite the help Ulan received, which allowed him to restore the importance of the Seaside Gnemeus, he still had to renounce the role of Marl as he faced the contempt of the other clans. Her friendship with the Renaixe helped Deirdre to overcome her reticence. She willfully accepted to follow the orders of her new High King. Duncas and his people spent a lot of time with savants and theologians. Patiently, they shared their knowledge of the Earth and learnt new techniques from one another. And in so doing, they restored balance between the New World and the Old. Following the investigations revealing the horrifying practices of Dr. Asili, the Alliance changed their methods and even appointed an ethics council to oversee the work of its scholars. The public revelations of St. Matthias's life led to a deep change in Teleme. The Ordo Luminis was dismantled for good, and the missionary's purpose is now to establish dialogue rather than conversion. Aware that their culture of secrets would lead them to their demise, the Norts changed their methods. They welcomed numerous new recruits amongst them, notably natives. Under Zieglinder's control, the guard returned to the honorable values that had made its reputation. And they did so all the more easily, now that their shadiest members were out of the picture.